Hello and welcome back to Massive Chalice. If you're still reloading, you're really mad. Oh, I was hoping that you know I get my achievements for reaching year 92 and whatever as soon as I loaded in, but apparently not. All right, well, the plan was to go for this one because otherwise the keep of the Iron Hands may end up being disappearing. Slight uh, trouble we have with this whole situation is the fact that, uh, yeah, it's a thingy. It's a thingy. They're wrinkless. Wrinkless, from my understanding, age heroes further than they need to be, which may up, which may end up causing trouble. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring two alchemists. But other than that. Uh, because the Vicara and the Iron Hand houses currently have a little bit of trouble between them, I don't think I can bring a Vicara. Because, see, feuding with Iron Hand decreased the accuracy from fighting alongside family enemies. So, we'll have to replace that with another Iron Hand! Yes! Excellent! Never too many Iron Hands! Uh, because it's lapses and wrinkless. Uh, a bow would be so useful against lapses. Probably against wrinkless as well, but if we don't have those tools, we just don't have those tools, you know? Yeah. Or I could bring a Vicara just in case. But that would also decrease the accuracy of two iron hands, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to worry about we don't want to keep the cadence potential additional hunter houses we could build in the future. That's a future affair. Alright, get over there. So that's a wrinkler. I expect there's nothing in this world I'll ever hate more than a wrinkler. And that includes the very concept of haggling. Get hit by one of them, and you might find yourself with more grey hairs than before. Be on your guard. Oldest heroes are the most at risk, so it's imperative that you keep them away. Maybe we don't have any really old heroes. And since this place was apparently out of sight last turn, so I'll hope that it remains out of sight for now. Are those like tier 2 lapses? Or is that just hero levels? Like, uh. That's a possibility, I guess. Eight. Oh, you're Dorothy. Well, in that case, give it a punch. Don't get knocked into the wall. Brilliant. You can get over there. See if there's any other risks at play here. Laps over there and two more wrinkles. And those two sound like risks. Right, we're gonna have to start moving slowly. To be able to give a hand once we once it comes down to actually striking the wrinkles. Alright. I hope the wrinkles are melee enemies. Just so they don't get that whole long range advantage that a lot of the enemies do. Let me te tell you, tell me about yourself. You have no traits, you have no personality. No strength, no dexterity, some intelligence, a lot of HP. Uh, that's a female wrinkler by the way. Hmm, that's good to know. No, it isn't. It doesn't help at all. Ah. Now, I want to get started on this bugger. So I'm gonna knock him back. That was a classic closer, that failed epically. And there's additional wrinkles over there, so yeah, that's not gonna help at all. That's an almost dead lapse, that's a dead lapse. Alright, now we just need these guys here as well. And now we watch a hero die. Or not. 
Why not? Oh, that's only five years. Oh, in that case, it's not that troublesome, but it's still troublesome. Oh shit, that was ten hit points. Like hell. Okay, can you join these people over here? We can give you this potion. And then we can start battering down this little bugger here. Would this cause more damage? Yes it would, but I'd rather keep that for next turn, because that's when additional forces will arrive in here. Go for 25, go for 25! Or a glancing blow. That's cool too. That is not at all cool too. Okay, yeah. He also needs a potion over there. He really needs a potion over there. Okay, now Dorothy's being attacked. These guys cause a lot of damage. Alright. You just deal as much damage as you can. So do you. But who heals you then? Because that guy has no health potion. Okay, you go ahead and strike this bugger. <sighs> I guess it falls to him. Because we won't accept anyone dying here. And to make things safe... Uh, uh, never mind. Go melee them. And he's going for that guy. Of course he is. Glancing blow. That lucky motherfucker. Okay, alchemists. Wear the bugger down. No! Wait. I get way too excited. I, I wanted the alchemist to get the kill. Oh well, happens. Who else needs healing? No one. Sister needs healing anymore. But quite a few would have benefited from it. But for some reason I didn't get any movement tiles over there at all. But there's a wrinkler. I'm just gonna have to place the iron hands in position. For further combat trials of sorts. Ah, a lapse over there. I'm gonna take out that lapse first. And then worry about everything else. You stand right next to him. Because this seems like a safe spot, but nothing can harm you. Because the lapse... Well, the wrinkler didn't notice you yet, and the lapse is... over there, so that might also be a safe spot. Ah. Well, let's be fair, none of them can actually strike the same turn as they... Well, go back in stealth the same turn that they move. Fancy blow, really. And there's a wrinkle over there. That's fine. Dorothy is now level 5. Good for her. I can move behind this tree now. Pretend that this is like uh, a strategy magical thingy. It's like you're actually being wise about something. Did you just did you just gain impressionable uh, feeling with the car? Because that's silly. That is really silly. I'm sure she already had the crate, but you know decided that it's important to let us know. Ah, two lapses over in that corner. Which will require us to actually get more people in there for the duration of that combat. Okay, run to this wall. Ah, a lapse and a dinky. Not ideal. Hide behind the tree. Let's hope nothing, no one notices anything.
We'll have to go for the corner first, first, of course. But the problem is... Well, actually, we'll need to take out the lapses first. Alright. You two are in position, but this guy is not. And there's no sight of the enemy just yet. Alright, let's get started with this. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I should have moved him first. No, still in range. Good. Not a, not enough firepower there. Which may be an issue. Okay, you two get a little closer. No, you don't steal my XP. Fucker. Take my XP. The wrinklers only barely remind me of the... Whatchamacallit? Yes, the whatchamacallit. Oh, you're visible. Oh, to that guy. So... If you remove this person from existence... There is a... Very, very small chance that... Uh, come on. Let's get you rebound. To put it down might actually be pretty useful for one of them, because then we can get rid of bigger enemies faster. But on the other hand, uh, rebound is the safer bet. Okay, can... Can you stay off now? You can. Good. And you two just wait for now. Oh, there's a lapse approaching them. And two wrinkles. Ah, uh, there's no way to safely maneuver here, so... Can you reach anything this turn? Nope. In that case, I'm gonna put you in position to reach something next turn. You can get started on that. Let's do just that. That was a Glancing Blow. It's kind of nice to consider the fact that Glancing Blows are to are free damage, because that's a fair bit of damage for Glancing Blow, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's move you a little bit closer, because it doesn't matter. And don't miss. Just kill the laps. Kill the laps. Thank you. This may help. Mind you, this may help, but isn't bound to help. Okay, move closer, maybe that will help you with your terrible aim. Can you try? Yep, aim still terrible. That's a dead iron hand over there, and we can blame the Darantinos. Or my trust for the Darantinos. Okay, can you clock one of them back? Thank you. Ah, really? I'm sorry, but you must keep going. Don't give the enemy another chance. Did he have a potion on him? I hope not. He might have had to. Ah. Uh. Okay, you can move over here, start dealing damage to this guy, while you can go over here and keep this guy stun locked. And you can go over here and start dealing damage to that bugger because that's the one you're closer to. And you... There's no way for you to actually kill anyone, but... If that's the case... Let's get you closer and see if we can just do this. This is a good way to start dealing damage. I wish he had had free throw. Though. Ow. Well, that's two stunned enemies right now. 
I think you deserve some XP. So here you go. Of course, you can go with Plants Grow instead. Uh, in that case, uh, this guy gets some. Dorothy. And then... Level 4, level 3. Okay. Easy choice to make. And there we go. One vanquished you took your hits and person. Stood strong, a ruler after my own heart. Yes, and if you take a week to celebrate and don't remember your name by the end, then you really will be. Uh, so, excellent. We did something. It was not really a keep defense, but we won. That's that. And I hope the family feud between uh, Vikara and Darren Hand doesn't last too long. Uh, oh, that's nice. Can we actually get to see the trainees they have? So I was right about the Harry. Uh, how's Harry is going crazy over there? Five kids. In I don't know how little years. They only just got here. Well, now we're getting achievements. Uh, we can induct a new sage right, theoretically. Mind you, we don't actually have anyone to put here. So we're not doing that. Bugger. Okay, I'm kind of curious how old some people are now. Oh, well, we are getting lots of options for new research. Oh! Ultra Elixir. The regenerative capabilities of cradles are something to be feared. In fact, if we know more about how their bodies operate, we can compare it, we can use knowledge to improve our own health files. That's awesome. Ooh. When Rinkers age a hero, one of the things to stimulate is muscle size. With enough research, we could create a trot that would grant immense strength for a brief time, but at the cost of growing several years older. And we could adopt puppies really quickly. That's nice. Uh, apparently, uh, adopting puppies is very good for when you have achievements. This should be good. I believe you'll have your work cut out for you. No, what I was about to say is uh, they are really good for when you have infertile couples as uh, the regents. For example, a gay couple or just someone infertile. So you can just adopt puppies for them and they can still grant, you know, give their XP onwards and uh, their traits and the like. With personality traits, anyway. Blake shakes you awake. There's a passenger ostrich outside the capital. You immediately look in your mind's eye and after a few seconds of searching you see it. The blue beak, the long neck, the magnificent red plumage. The great bird isn't extinct after all, what do you do? Send Plague Tarantino to feed it. It seems passenger ostriches have become a bit angrier since they were last uh, seen because as soon as it saw Plague Tarantino walking up, it lunged forward in a relentless flurry of talons, feathers and beak bites. Thankfully the horn horns managed to scare it away before any permanent physical damage was done but the Psychological damage may be another matter. Okay, well, happens. Well, we'll get a hero discovery boost going. I hope this wasn't due to the stresses of the regency. They never would have told us if it was. Ah, we need a new regent for House Iron Hand. Oh, Raven has the toy. So Dorothy is the one who will become. It actually. Chess is also level 4, and she's lower, you know, she's younger. So Chess, you will become the new regent. And for your partner, um, do we want a Blast Kappa? Well, there's no way to get the Shadow Check right now. Okay, which one of the Tarantinos do you want? Because all of them are really fertile. Apparently. It might just be their age there. Okay, let's just look at the traits. Child tendency his sons. So it's no longer a matter of... Uh, what was it? Kingmaker and Queenmaker. Just child tendency. 
Alright, well, this. Uh, oh, slow. Never mind. Get rid of that as soon as we can. Flincher, lone wolf, faint hearted, cocky. Hawkeye. You. It's only Tarantino's out there. <laughs> Impressionable, clumsy, lone wolf, faint hearted, cocky. Uh, okay, James. You get your chance. Make some Bobby. And go. We'll also need to actually build another keep somewhere. But on the other hand, we might really benefit from getting more heroes. Because building a keep is quite a long job. Let's get a crucible going actually. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's something I wanted to build when we built another keep earlier, somewhere. Was it this keep? Or was it this keep? I think it was this keep that I accidentally built when I meant to build the crucible. Quite likely. Wait, uh, also we can put the sage right in. Because we have a slow hero somewhere. Was it you, Hell Seal? Yes, Hell Seal. Get yourself a free throw and. Uh, an extra item slot, but you're still just going to be in the Sage Rite Scaled. Sage right? Yes. Lots of achievements being got in here, but uh, we still don't have the one for surviving 50 Summon years. The it's that time again. Uh, so, ruptures and Twitches. Oh. Wrinkless Cradles and Bulwarks. And we are going to defend this one. Though it's still gonna be a pretty difficult task. Let's see, whom do we have available now? I'm sure we have a lot of people. It looks like the Sar House Sarayas is getting heroes going. So House Sarayas heroes are someone we will really need to put on board. And we will need to build another keep at the future time. Was it a ramp cap? That is a ramp cap. I should get more ramp caps going. I forgot that uh, those were a thing. Though let's be fair, those are really good things. It's really surprising that I did forget about them. For example, Gaily, you can have a ramp cap Gaber. It deals the same amount of damage, but it knocks back every enemy ever, and that's a good thing to have. Because potential stun locks everywhere. Everywhere. Like you can have a flash shot, though let's be fair, you are unlikely to see any combat as long as House Iron Hand is the ruling house and you're still feuding. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.